you're a content creator on the go and one of the things that you're definitely noticing is that you have an abundance of memory cards and there needs to be a good way of storing them uh, besides keeping them in the camera because while in the camera you can only if you have a professional camera such as this there's two card slots in here you're going to want to have a couple of spares so you are going to need to store them somewhere the question is what type of wallet or how you're going to store them my two favorite ones have been actually from small rig so we have the small rig metal case and we have a small rig polymer case the question is should you go for this or that let's take a look at that in this video so uh, the first one we have on here is actually the first one I received um, I wanted a small metal wallet when I'm going to uh, trade shows conferences things like that I want something to be sturdy but honestly um, I wanted something that looks cool and that's what this one came in uh, so here we have a polymer insert with a metal outside container and one of the things that you notice immediately it takes a little bit of effort to get it open uh, so one of the things like you can press on it hard but one of the things I actually sometimes do is take the edge of a table give it a little pop and it's gonna pop open now there is a little ball bearing inside that will kind of like retain it on here so this doesn't flip out however if you need to you can easily just pull it out if you wanted to. So we're gonna put that back in. All right, so with this card slot, one of the things that you're gonna notice is that it's more than, I would say it's more for business professionals. Uh, you have three spots here for secure digital or SD cards. So I see my cards, my seven, eight, and card number 14 on here. Uh, you do have two micro SD card slots right on top. And uh, one of the things that's actually pretty nice about it is it has a slot here for an extra SIM. So personally, I have not had to use it. Um, I could see a purpose for it. Let's say, for example, you're traveling overseas, things like that. You can store it there. One of the things I do like about it is that it comes with a SIM removal tool, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the other way you can probably even use it is if you're a mobile creator, and your memory card, well, not on iPhones because the memory is built in, but there's plenty of Android phones where you need to remove the SIM tray because that's where the SD card slot is. So having a tool there is going to be pretty nice uh, to go with it. Um, overall, it is a nice small rig branded product. Uh, now, then uh, after I saw, well, three card slots are definitely not going to be enough. Uh, then I found this one by Small Rig, and this is probably my go-to, the one that I use every single day. I freaking love this thing. So first thing you notice is it is rubberized coating. Uh, there is a latch cover on here, super easy to get in and out. The cards are retained. I would probably say that these, this one retains it a little bit more snug, uh, but this one, it does the job. I haven't had too many issues where me opening this up, the cards would flop out. Uh, first thing you notice about this wallet in particular, and they do have a couple of different layouts depending on what type of cards you want. So this one for a Sony creator or anybody, Panasonic, things like that, this is going to be a great wallet. So you have six slots here, two, four, six for secure digital cards or SD cards. Then on top you have one, two, three, four, five, six card slots for micro SD. Uh, so generally in this one, I'm keeping them for uh, my audio recorders, my Tascams, things like that. I'm keeping the SD cards in there. Um, now, I'm probably going to have a little bit of space here, so I'm going to keep some spare uh, drone SD cards in here as well. But otherwise, my drone cases are going to have uh, cards just for the drones right in there. Now, what's unique about this one, and one of the reasons why this is going to be good for a Sony creator, is that you actually have two CF Express Type A slots, one here, one here, and then you do have one CF Express Type B slot as well. So, definitely a good wallet. Uh, these do come out, I believe. So, it basically, Small Rig uses the same. There we go. Um, Small rig does use the same actual hard container, and then you have different inserts for different type of slots that you want. Um, so I suppose if you have one wallet and you just bought another one, you want to replace it, you can do that. Um, I haven't had actually this pop out ever, and it is retained on both sides, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so which one should you, there we go. 
So which one should you go for, this one or this one? I would say if you want to be stylish, definitely go for this. However, if you want more practical, and I believe this one's actually also a little bit cheaper as well, um, definitely go for this wallet. Uh, it is going to be water resistant. I'm not going to say it's waterproof, although it is fairly sealed. Um, but number one, you get to store a whole bunch more cards. Um, now, personally, I store more than a couple of extra SD cards. So what I do is in the CF Express Type B slot, you actually have space to put stack two SD cards right on top but they're not retained obviously so i do have space for eight sd cards in this wallet uh, which is still going to be fairly flat i can stick it into any of my bags now is it as thin and as small as this no absolutely not uh, but i do feel it's going to give it better protection and all that stuff so personally the way i use it right now is when i'm going to conferences i'm going to have this one with me and then if i have a second shooter or if i have a second person who's gathering content I'm going to give them a smaller wallet so that between the camera, which is going to have two cards, plus the three spares in here, we're going to have more than enough uh, for a day's worth of content, and then they can bring it back to me at the end of the day. I can clean out the cards and then give it right back to them. Uh, versus this, you can definitely store multi-days worth of footage, and this is definitely a little bit more secure. So. Hopefully that answered the question as to which small rig SD card wallet you should go for, this or that.